Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. My name is Tall, and today we'll be diving into all the information you need to know about everyone's favorite veggie sore, the Triceratops. So before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur video that comes out. Make sure you leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up, comment down below your favorite dinosaur, and let's jump right into the amazing Triceratops. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Triceratops. This has been a long-awaited video. Many of you requested it. And look at this. Even our dinosaur shelf has been changed into Triceratops-themed goodness. Understandably, the reason this thing was requested is because it's probably the most famous herbivorous dinosaur that exists. And the name Triceratops means three-horned face. So where is this fan favorite from and when did it exist? Well, the Triceratops is from Western North America and it existed about 66 million years ago during the end of the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era. Yes, that means that the Triceratops existed right by the T-Rex and the Pachycephalosaurus. Just some of his dino neighbors to mention a few. So what did this amazing three-horned beast look like? Well, for starters, it had three horns on its face. Hence the name Triceratops. Triceratops. And it came from a group of animals called the Ceratopsids, or Ceratopsians. This was a group of animals that had horns on their face and frills on the back of their head. And just to mention, some of the species of Ceratopsids did not have the most prominent frills and horns. As for the Triceratops, it had two massive horns on the top of its head and one smaller horn on the top of its nose. A giant frill behind its head and a beak for a mouth. It just makes you go, damn. I wish animals today looked like that. As for size and weight, the Triceratops could have reached anywhere from 26 to 30 feet and weighed a whopping 15 to 25,000 pounds. This thing was a living tank and it really needed to be with T-Rexes running around its neighborhood. <coughs> Can you guess what time it is? It's side note time. I'm gonna keep this one kind of short, I promise. There are paleontologists that believe that the Ceratopsid dinosaur, Taurosaurus, that lived in the same geographic and geological time as the Triceratops are the same animal. Theory once again is that Taurosaurus and Triceratops are the same animal. The proof for this theory is that there are holes in the back of the frills of the Triceratops' head. As the Triceratops gets older, the frills get larger, and on the Taurosaurus, the frills are huge. Besides that, the Taurosaurus had larger horns, frills, and an overall larger body size, which might have proved that it was the same animal, just at a different point in its life. This is similar to the theory that we went over when we covered the Stygimoloch, Dracorex to Stygimoloch to Pachycephalosaurus. In this case, it would be Triceratops to Taurosaurus. I should mention though that this theory has been since kind of abandoned, and it's been kind of accepted that the Taurosaurus and the Triceratops are their own separate animals. Whew. So this dinosaur is still safe. You're all good Triceratops. <coughs> Alright, let's get back into it. Now it's time to ask, how the heck did this dinosaur get so famous? Oh wow, well this dinosaur has pretty much been attached to anything with the word dinosaur to it. The Triceratops is kind of like the poster child for everyone's favorite herbivore. To name a few, it's been featured in Walking with Dinosaurs, Dinosaur Park, and of course everyone's favorite Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise. It sealed the deal as everyone's favorite herbivore in Jurassic Park the original when it was seen on the side of the road as a sick Triceratops. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> It's since then been featured in some capacity in every single Jurassic Park and Jurassic World series movie. And of course, in the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we got to see it for just a little bit before the Sinoceratops stole its spotlight. Boo! I like the Triceratops more, even though the Sinoceratops is still pretty cool. Besides that, countless movies, TV shows, video games have all featured the Triceratops when it comes to dinosaur content. So it's kind of been everywhere when it comes to being a dinosaur lover. You can't really escape it. And look at it, it's, so, it's the best. Lastly, let's cover the diet and behavior of this animal. The Triceratops was an herbivore. That's no surprise to anyone, but it wasn't no punk. This thing could fight. We don't have direct evidence that the Triceratops fought with local carnivores, but we have to assume that if a T-Rex tried to fight it or take it down, or eat it, it was well equipped to handle the challenge. Besides that, the Triceratops probably hung out low to the ground, eating up plants and stuff that were low to the ground floor of wherever it hung out in. And because of their teeth, paleontologists know that they ate a lot of plants that were high in fiber. And that, my friends, is one of my favorites, Triceratops. That's another Dino Quick Dive done. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I loved seeing the Triceratops in the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie, even though it was just there for like a tiny bit and didn't really get a cool role. It was still cool to see it around. That Sinoceratops better keep an eye out. I'm gonna get him. 
tries to steal my boy's spotlight again. But speaking of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, if you did enjoy that movie and you want to learn more about your favorite dinosaurs from that movie, you should subscribe to this channel because we're covering all the dinosaurs and prehistoric animals that were in that film. And when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video from this channel as well. Leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up on this video, comment down below a dinosaur you would like to see in the future, and if you like this channel and you want to support us, you can send us a donation on PayPal. The link will be in the description down below. Your next dinosaur is going to be the teensy-weensy cutesy-pootsy little Compsognathus, and we'll see you then. Goodbye.